Glad to have you with us tonight. You know, I like to bring you the best video we have, and this is certainly the best video of the day. I'm Matt Austin here with the best meteorologist you will ever find, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells. Tommy, I know we got this video in from Sail Drone. We saw this. So this is basically, just to set it up, it's a, basically a sailboat that sails into a hurricane. So it's some of the first video we've ever had of a hurricane out at sea. What do you think? I, I freaked when I saw it today. A friend of mine posted it first, getting Dave Jones out of D.C., former weather guy who works this kind of stuff. And he's part of the team there. And he posted this. And I lost my cookies. I was like, oh, my, oh, my God. And I, could, I couldn't stop watching it. Couldn't stop watching it. And I'm just in love with it. And I said to Lisa on the, the 7 o'clock newscast tonight when we showed this video again, I said, if I can't take that video and use that video to show people what is about to come ashore and make them evacuate, then there's no saving them. I mean, if that doesn't freak you out, you can't survive that. That's why yeah. we don't get video like this much is because you can't survive that much water in the air. You can't even breathe. It's so crazy because when you're watching the video, it's almost hard to tell what's up, what's down. The right. the swells have to be. Well, if you had to guess, I know we don't have anything to kind of compare sizes with. But you know out there, because this is Sam, 30, 40 foot swells. What are we looking at? Well, you I, earlier before that camp, someone said 50 foot swells 50. in that. On my radar, I was able to touch the dots and look at the pixel query, and I had 30 feet. And so my guess is somewhere between 30 and 40 foot swells. There might be some rogue waves out there that are taller, but it's bad news. It's bad news. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, too. You're going to hear a lot tonight, Matt, about um, where the thing goes. It's going east of Bermuda, and I'm going to be talking about beach conditions here at home. So we're not going to get that. Okay. That's not what we're going to get. But yeah. the energy from that dissipates as it radiates out from the eye of the center. And the waves on our shore are going to be about four to six feet this weekend. And the the um, there is. rip current risk is going to be nasty. So if you have plans of going to the beach this weekend, a lot of you will, please stay out of the water. So, so yeah, obviously it's not going to look like this, but it is still, you're, you're saying it's still going to be pretty nasty if you're in the water. And this is one of those situations like, if you're a very experienced surfer or very good swimmer, you might be all right, but you probably should probably should not mess around with this stuff unless you're one of those very highly skilled elite people, right? Right. You're one of those stick people that surfs like a magician. <laughs> yeah. There's like three of them in Florida. Jason Thomas says, grab your surfboards, boys. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us right now. I'm seeing a lot of you from Facebook. People are saying, now Nancy's asking, is it shifting. I think she's talking about Sam. Sam is still just a fish storm, right? Oh, totally. It's going to miss Bermuda to the east and die in the North Atlantic. It is not an immediate threat to any landmass, most especially not ours. Nowhere okay, in the USA I... is going to be affected by this. Outside of the fact we'll get swells. Yeah, yeah, outside of the coastline. Yeah, we got a lot of people saying, wow. OMG. Um, Michael Phillips, he always talks about, he says, wow, man, you called it the Braves clenched. Yes, they did. Uh, so he's pretty happy for you. Go Braves. Yeah, I'm a Braves fan. You know that. And then we have uh, somebody is asking, how is a ship or a boat or plane supposed to go through this? Well, 99.99% uh, of ships can't. This is a specifically tailored drone that is a boat that apparently can handle just about anything. And the main thing is there are no people on it. So that's the Correct. reason we can get this video. I'll be fascinated if this company can one day send out live video. I'm guessing they probably already have the capabilities, but have you heard about this, Tom? Are they going to be able to one day send out live video from inside? A Allegedly, storm? that's what they're working toward. And it, what's the difference between beaming this back to them and then recording it and us getting it live? It's just a matter of yeah. reliability. Because they, they didn't know for sure that this was going to work today, but it did. Yeah. Okay. And it penetrated the eyewall of a Category 4 storm with winds of about 145 miles per hour. That's pretty darn impressive. Yeah. doesn't get a whole lot stronger than that. That's Not for a sure. lot, yeah. Well, Tommy, I know you got to put together the weather cast for you. Yeah, we're He's on gonna... in 15 minutes, dude. You yeah. do real TV? You coming back to me? <laughs> yeah, I think I got to put my face on. Thank you to everybody who's joining us. Oh, real uh, quick. Sandra Moore's like, what is a fish storm? When we say fish storm, Sandra, that means it doesn't hit land. It's a big storm. It develops in the Atlantic. The only thing that has to worry about it are the fish. So we call it a fish storm. 
It's, it's the perfect name. Uh, Nina's asking, are we in different rooms? Yeah, Tom's in the Weather Center. My I'm at my the desk Man, in the newsroom. Room. I live in the studio. This is true. We live in two different areas. And Michael Phillips says he is looking forward to our Disney coverage tonight. That we will have a lot of as the Magic Kingdom is unveiling its show uh, to us. So we'll show you all that. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Tommy, I appreciate your time. And uh, we'll we'll see you on the TV at 11 o'clock.